Now that Facebook group called Pittsburgh Area Police Break Room has been deleted. KDK investigator Megan Schiller joins us live now. So Megan, how many complaints have been filed here in Pittsburgh? Well, the answer to that is just a handful. I talked to the executive director of Pittsburgh Citizen Police Review Board, and she pointed out that no city of Pittsburgh police officers were mentioned in that article, and she thinks that speaks to the city's social media policy. A new report from the Associated Press calls out Pittsburgh after the AP gained access to a private Facebook group called Pittsburgh Area Police Break Room. The article accuses some current and retired law enforcement of posting content that, quote, included harsh criticism of anyone perceived to support so-called Democrats, Black Lives Matter, or coronavirus safety measures. The AP claims the posts also criticized police chiefs who took a knee during last summer's Black Lives Matter protests. You'll recall, Pittsburgh's Bureau of Police Chief Scott Schubert took a knee and marched alongside protesters. In response to the article, the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police said it, quote, in no way condones any behavior or content by its sworn officers or personnel that promotes intolerance or hate, which the current social media policy outlined on the city of Pittsburgh's website clearly states. How many complaints have you received over the past couple years? Yeah, for social media, just a handful. And how many of the complaints did you find had merit? One. Beth Pittinger serves as executive director for the Citizen Police Review Board, an independent agency to investigate citizen complaints about police conduct. Why should people care about a police officer's words or actions on social media? It reflects the individual's character. And in the, if there's a bias that's embedded in that individual, it's going to come out in those posts. The AP made no mention of any city of Pittsburgh police officers in the article, but did mention police in West Mifflin, Mount Pleasant Township, and Lincoln Borough. Lincoln Borough Chief Richard Bosco tells me the borough is now beefing up the department's social media guidelines, and his officers will be held accountable for not just future posts, but also for comments on other people's posts. Pittenger thinks this should be the standard across the board. This isn't about First Amendment rights. You know, it's about conducting yourself with decorum and professionalism. Lincoln Borough's chief tells me their new social media policy will go into effect on June 1st. As for that group, Facebook tells me that it removed the group from the platform because it violated its policies, and it pointed out that it removed the group before the Associated Press's article went live. Reporting live downtown, Megan Schiller, KDK News.